Hi and welcome to this Blueberry Markets video update with me, John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video, we're going to be looking at Euro US Dollar as the price has begun to trade to the downside and that dollar strength has returned. So why has the dollar strength returned? Well, we have Federal Reserve Chairman Powell testifying at the moment and uh, he has basically opened the door to higher and possibly faster rate hikes. So what we've seen from the Federal Reserve Chairman Powell is talk about the fact that inflation continues or the or basically the data that's came in recently or that's come in recently is a lot stronger than they have anticipated. So they are willing to potentially hike rates at a faster pace, maybe more than the quarter basis points than what they've been doing at the moment. So we've seen them hiking by 25 basis points. That could be about to change. They could be looking for 50 basis points hike in the next meeting. And they're really trying to get ahead of this really strong data that's coming out at the moment. And uh, yeah, that's really sparked the dollar back into life again. Dollar strength has entered the market. And uh, I'm looking at Euro dollar here coming back down to the one spot zero five hundred. So you might have noticed I've changed a few colours here. Just hoping that it stands out a little bit more for you. We did get some comments saying that the yellow was too um, hard to see. So hopefully this is a little bit better. I've made the tags a little bit bigger as well so that you visually you can see the levels that I'm discussing. So hopefully that helps as well. Let me know in the comments down below. But you can see here, Euro Dollar, we've been mapping this out for a while. Uh, the week ahead analysis video, we talked about uh, pa uh, sorry, Euro US Dollar trading to the downside again, looking for it to come back to that one spot zero five area, which were these lows that formed uh, in January at the start of the year. So I was looking to see if price will trade down to that area because it is an area of support via a trend line as well. So you've got this kind of horizontal support running through and this trend line support running through as well. So I wanted to see if price would potentially trade down into this point. If it breaks beyond that point, then there's a larger level below around about the one spot zero four handle as well. But you know, if that dollar strength continues, we could see Euro dollar prices head all the way back down towards the zero spot 98 handle, you know, it depends how strong this dollar is going to remain. But today, if we go to the four hour time frame. You can see how aggressive the last sort of four hour downward move has been and that's because the Federal Reserve Chairman is still commenting uh, or testifying at the moment. So the way I'd be looking at this market right now would be to see if price will pull back into key areas of structure. So I marked out this little area this morning um, around about the one spot zero six seventy five. It was an area that formed this high uh, in the past couple of days. And I wanted to see if price would come back and retest that. We did get the retest. Price has then since fallen to the downside. So what I'm doing is marking out areas of support and resistance. So you can see this zone that I've marked out just through here. Now that zone has come from, if we go to the hourly time frame and zoom in a little bit, you can see that this zone has formed from this recently formed low around about the one spot zero six twenty five handle. Now, price may recover a little bit more than that. Quite often when we do get strong news events and strong news moves, price can often recover the entirety of the move before continuing. So we may actually see price come all the way back up to the one spot zero six fifty handle which could be an area where those sellers that sold here from this resistance zone, they may sell again if price was to get back to that point. I just think that if the dollar is going to remain strong, we're probably just going to see a, a slight retracement, which is why I'm targeting this one spot zero six twenty five area that just runs through here um, to see if price will come back before looking for that continuation to the downside. Targets for me are going to be that one spot zero five. I'm going to look to see if price will come into that area. You can see here as well. Looking at it just by eye, that looks to be about a 50% retracement of today's move. But obviously, we don't know where today's move is really going to end up um, over uh, sort of the next few hours. So if it was, then you've got a good reward to risk ratio on the pullback there. So I'll be looking to see if price can trade back to that level. If, however, we see the dollar continue to strengthen and price just drops all the way down into the one spot zero five, I'll probably sit on my hands a little bit and see if we can get a deeper retracement before seeing the continuation. Or obviously you could look for the break and retest at that point. So I think the dollar strength's back. The dollar strength has looked to return. 
and uh, if it does continue we could see euro dollar trade much lower thanks for watching this video update i hope you enjoyed it if you did leave this video a thumbs up subscribe to the youtube channel to see some more of our forex trading content and i'll speak to you in the next video